Okay, thanks Alex. We're going to look through some uh, enhanced building infrastructure support now. Uh, I'm focusing mainly on the routing side of SOLIDWORKS 2015. So with routing we've now seen in 2015 the support for round and square ducting. So within the design library you'll see there's been a number of things added in here. And we'll take a look at a square ducting example first. So once we've got routing added in, uh, we can then right click on a connection point and start the route in the same way that we would if we were doing a standard pipe route. You'll see that we then get the ability to drag uh, the stubs out to an extended length and from the library we can drag and drop items like tees uh, and reposition and reorientate those and you'll see that we get some configurate, uh, uh, configurable options with the sizes of these as well. So what you'll see with the rectangular ducting is that if we stay in plane that the, uh, the joints all work in the in plane sort of style so we should get joints as we expect like so but we're not limited to going in plane we can come out of plane and go vertically upwards here uh, so just using tab to change the direction of that and you'll see that it, it, it's clever enough to know in which direction the bends need to go so if we just orientate ourselves out like so you can start to see that we can build these reasonably complicated routes I'm going to drag a cross in here because we want to join up to those three sections uh, at the back end and we'll stick with that configuration there like so and I can start to manipulate this out a little bit more as well so just taking a look at where we are just by rotating the screen as we do this so I'm just going to put another couple of extensions on the ends here and we'll just drag that point out we've also got the support for reducers within here as well so we can start adding on reducers into the certain sections here and then we can just finish off by attaching each of the, these to the connection points for the outlets so we'll do the two outside ones and the centre one and if we exit our route what we should see is that update quite nicely to reflect the system that we've built now because this is routing uh, each of the components is categorized for us so if we change over to a drawing you'll see we carry support for each of those routed components within a bill of materials so it will categorize length and if it knows the component type it's going to show that in there and bring each of the uh, descriptions through for us as well what we've also seen in addition to the rectangular and round ducting is the support for electrical cable trays as well so within the electrical folder we now have a cable tray section and again here all we really need to do is start a route and just accept the options and it's going to start allowing us to build a cable tray route again very much like the rectangular ducting if we just draw some lines out here you'll see it honors the correct orientation of each of the bends so we'll just make sure we go down in the right location here and you'll see it puts each of those bends on in the correct orientation so we'll just pin our sketch down a little bit here so we're just going to snap to some model geometry to constrain that and here really we're doing this just to ensure that if our frame uh, component changes that our cable tray is remaining parametric to it so we'll just finish off here like so and make those two collinear. Now again with the cable tray system we've also got things like crosses. We can then start to add on any additional elements to the route that we want. So again just a good example of how functional this system is. We could decide to go downwards here and then come across and you'll see the bend changes to honour what the system expects us to want. So if we just come out this way here and out like so, you'll see each of the bends is keeping the orientation correct. So if we just exit out here just so you can see the final result, you'll see each of these cable tray bends is uh, in the expected orientation that we want uh, for how we've drawn this item out. 
So some really nice improvements there to the routing system. So we've seen the ability for us to now use rectangular ducting, we can build routes on the fly, drag and drop from the library. We've also got the support for cable tray routing which automatically handles the different bend directions, still has the facility for drag and drop from the library. So hopefully with the support for these two systems here we should be able to speed up the detailing of building infrastructure. Okay, Alex is going to run us through some weldment improvements now.